G'day everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an on the back wheel video. Today I want to talk about the upcoming Moto Marini Escape 650. It's another adventure bike that's looking to take on the likes of the Yamaha Tenere 700, the Suzuki Vishram 650 and the upcoming Aprilia Touareg. Let's have a look. Moto Marini is certainly not one of the bigger brands of motorcycling. They are a smaller Italian brand known for making beautiful street bikes, which they still do, and in 2018 they were bought by the Zhongnan Vehicle Group. Okay, let's talk about the Escape 650. Besides the questionable name, visually, I think it looks fantastic. Moto Marini have definitely taken their design cues from Dakar rally bikes, and I think they've nailed the styling. While it does look like a serious rally bike, looking at the specs, I would say it's more of a touring bike with off-road capabilities. More like a Suzuki V-Strom 650 than a Yamaha Tenere 700. And speaking of specs, let's have a look. First up, the motor is a 649cc parallel twin with Bosch EFI, 60 horsepower and 56 Nm of torque. Comparing the Escape to the previously mentioned V-Strom, it's down 60 horsepower. The fuel tank is 18 litres. On the chassis side, it's a bit of a mixed bag for mine. Both the front and rear suspension are adjustable, fantastic. The forks are 50mm Marzocchi's and the shock is KYB. The brakes are Brembo, so they've got some potentially great components here. The seat height is 820 or 845 millimeters depending on the model and the rims are spoked with a 19 inch front and 17 inch rear. The grand clearance is 175 millimeters and the dry weight is 213 kilos. For me that is way too high using the Suzuki V-Strom as a comparison. The V-Strom is 216 kilograms wet so once you fill up the tank on the Escape, and depending on what the dry weight includes, this is a bit of a porker and I highly doubt it's going to be much chop off-road. Besides that, we don't have a ton of information on suspension travel and other technical details, but looking at the pictures, we have a plastic bash plate, a nice 6-inch dash, and what looks to be a manually adjustable screen. Price-wise, the Escape is pretty cheap for the components it has. It is priced at 8,600 US, which is 7,290 Euro, which equates to roughly 12,000 Australian dollars. So the price is decent. It is cheaper than its rivals. What concerns me is the weight. I mean, this thing's a fatty, and I know specs aren't everything, but 60 horsepower and 230 kilograms is not very appealing to me, especially when the competition is lighter and has more horsepower. Yes, I know the price is less, but this is a new unproven bike, and with that, I think you have to be cheaper and have similar horsepower or weight, you can't have both. The Benelli TRK502X might be a better rival for the Escape, though it is smaller and cheaper. As I mentioned earlier, specs aren't everything and the suspension might be fantastic and it could have a really punchy motor. We don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. So what are your thoughts on the Moto Marini Escape 650? Are you interested in seeing how they review? Are you not interested at all? Do you want to buy one? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, that's it from me. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like button and subscribe. And more importantly, keep it on the back wheel people. Catches.